What's up, guys? This is episode 10 of Storytime with Surly. I'm in my garage right now, namely because my wife and my daughters are having a girls' night inside and there's too much noise in the office. Um, I want to talk DOT numbers tonight. Today. Well, it's, it's night right now. Um, 20 plus years ago when they first started regulating uh, DOT numbers on vehicles or on vehicles on tires specifically tires I remember working at the car dealership in Virginia and we had cards that we had to fill out they were almost like uh, postcards and you had to write the dealership information on them the DOT number on them and the size on them, date and all that stuff, and mail them in. And uh, looking back at that now, that was that was kind of wild. I thought it was more involved than what it is. And turns out, I was reading Volume Forty One, Number Two, April Twenty Twenty Four edition of the Grassroots Motorsports, and this is not sponsored by Grassroots Motorsports. I just want to let you guys know that. I was just reading this and thought it was interesting to share. I'm going to share a um, maybe a two or three sentences here. What if we told you that a tire maker could put whatever tread wear, tread wear rating it wanted on the sidewall of a tire? And that the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration does no, no compliance checking on that rating. And this is the, the Treadwear Truth is the name of this article. Um, I just wanted to touch a minute. It's not, not so much a story. This is more of me being uh, who I am. I don't buy big brand tires. Uh, you know, a lot of guys are, I'm only going to run Bridgestone. I'm only going to run Goodyear. I'm only going to run... Toyo, and that's fine. Pirelli, you know, that, that's cool. You know, if you have a particular brand that you like, awesome. Run with it. Um, me personally, I don't, I, I don't have any brand loyalty. Um, I bought some off-brand eBay tires. Two sets, actually. Because the set on my wife's Jeep, my wife's Jeep, and my F-150 are the same size. So I bought two sets at once of that tire. And those tires have lasted four years. This tax season is four years. And there's still probably a good five to six 30 seconds tread on them. Now the Jeep was a little touch and go because it's a Jeep. And it's a Jeep. But the F-150, um, even wear, no road noise, no issues. They're all terrains. I want to say they're um, uh, you know, they got I think on my F-150 I've got probably 40,000 miles on them right now. That's a conservative number. I was driving that thing back and forth from Dickinson to Beaumont and from where my RV was at to my job at the time was 93 miles one way. And I did that every day for a year and a half, year and eight months with that truck. Um... Now, that being said, I guess I can segue into a motorcycle tire. A lot of people, um, and I'll give you an example. My dad is big on Pirelli, uh, and he's had a lot of experience with Pirelli. Now, we're talking about a guy that has almost 200,000 miles on one motorcycle. Not, he has 200,000 miles under his belt. That's just one motorcycle. One of his one of his many motorcycles. He is partial to Pirelli, and that's great. That's wonderful. 
Now, in my experience, and it's probably just my riding style, I get worse wear on my VFR out of a set of Pirellis than I do a set of Shinkos. And I know a lot of you guys, you motorcycle folks, I'm not rocking Shinkos. That's great. Um, that's fine. You know, if you have a brand that you're loyal to, and I'm not saying I'm loyal to Shinko, I'm telling you what wears well on my motorcycle for my riding style. Um, between Pirelli and Shinko, I, that's the only experience I have on two wheels. Um, as far as vehicles go, uh, four wheel vehicles, I've had everything from Bridgestone Duelers to uh, Trans Forces to the All Terrain Firestone 311050s to they don't even make these tires anymore. They were a Prime Wheel, which is a Firestone off brand. They're PA 100s. And those things were garbage in the rain. They were fine running around in a Ford Explorer, but garbage in the rain. I was in League City on uh, right there at the intersection of 270 and what is that right there five five one of the teens 20 90 i don't remember it's right there in league city at 270 and 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 uh eager bay eager bay and whatever right there there was a jack-in-the-box and i went there for lunch one day and it was raining and these tires were so bad in the rain I remember pulling out of that parking lot and gassing it a little bit to get out in the traffic. And my truck did like this. I came out and it made a complete 180 and then right back into the Jack in the Box parking lot. And I wasn't trying to do that. That's just what they did. Um, and uh, I forget what the set of tires we have on the Jeep and the, the F-150 now. Or there's some kind of... Um, wild something or other not i'm not wild peaks because i think that's a uh a brand in and of itself they're wild something or other but they're all terrains haven't had any problems out of them um i think i paid like 900 bucks for both sets and in today's market i think it might be another 200 250 bucks I priced them um, not long ago just to kind of prep myself for putting tires on both vehicles um, but that's something you need to take into consideration most tire supply chains your NTBs your Walmart your Firestones I don't even like ringing these guys off because I don't want them feeding off of my energy but I'm just letting you know this. Most of them won't touch a tire that's 10 years old or older. So if you come in with one of these bad boys. If you come in with one of these old school Hoosiers. On your vehicle. Or a 15 year old trailer tire. Or a 15 year old spare tire. They're not going to touch it. They're going to say, nope, we got to replace it. We ain't fixing a flat. We're not popping it on a different rim. You're buying a tire. And that's a liability issue. That's understandable. Um, and then if you go and buy tires, say you go to buy, you got a 2018 Z71. You want to put some nice Bridgestone duelers on it. And Bridgestone's not sponsoring this. Bridgestone, Firestone can go do whatever. This is just an example. If you're going in to spend fifteen hundred bucks on a nice set of duelers and on have an alignment done and all that, and you check the DOT number on the side of the tire, and it'll it'll say DOT number 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 number, and the last four will be like twenty nine twenty three. That's the twenty ninth week of two thousand twenty three. If it says twenty nine eighteen. 2919 if they're if it, if the dates off if they're five-year-old tires according to the DOT number 
I would march back in there and be like, I want a brand new tire put on here. Not some five-year-old doing on the shelf tire. And that's just me. I'm not saying this is what you got to do. But we're talking tires. Um, on that note, I just want to say uh, I had this really good interaction with someone who recognized me from social media the other day. And it wasn't so much that they recognized me. It was the fact that they said my name correctly. Um, so my new job, I'm a millwright at a local facility here. And young lady, well I say young lady, she's older than me, but young lady, uh, said, hey, you're that surly mechanic guy from YouTube. And I was more impressed that she said it the right way than I was that she recognized who I was. I don't care about any of that. Um, I was just amazed. I have friends that still say Shirley. Shirley Mechanic. No, it's... It's Surly. Sir. S-I-R. Lee. L-E-E. -E. Sir. Lee. Surly. Anywho, they're inside watching my daughter and daughters and wife are watching, what's that kid's name? Timothy Shallot, Shalmet, Shal, Shallow Hal, whatever his name is. Uh, the new Wonka movie. So I had to come out here because that was just too much nonsense. Um. I would ask that you guys, if you are the praying type, or uh, you're someone who does well wishes, my grandmother is in the hospital this evening um, with a medical condition uh, related to some stuff that she's had a history with for the past decade or so, maybe more. If you could just keep her in here in your thoughts and prayers this evening, I'd greatly appreciate that. Everybody else, if you're new here, thank you for watching. If you're one of the 674 at this moment um, of my YouTube subscribers, I greatly appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out and sticking close. And I also have in my community uh, posts, if you have any automotive questions, post them in the comments. I'd love to help you guys out. I don't have any problems helping anybody out. Um, I'm not big on being rude. Uh, I'm not big on responding to rude people. So let's keep everything light, tight, and bright. I'm the surly mechanic. Surly, right there. Surly mechanic. Uh, and this is the Surly Mechanic channel. This is episode 10. Like I said, it wasn't, wasn't a big story here, just talking tires. I was just thinking about tires earlier, especially with the rain here. It's Texas, springtime, we get a lot of rain. Um, if you guys could like, subscribe, question, comment, concern, criticize, jazzercise, exercise, vaporize, uh, you know, whatever. Hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, this isn't glass, this is... Plastic. What brand is that? Oh, that's Aladdin. Look at that. Uh, a whole new world. We'll see you guys later.